Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Did I just say that twice? I actually literally just sorted. I did. I just replaced the uh, the monitor cable uh, right before Thank I started. You. Actually, that's why I was like twenty seconds late. Because I just I literally just replaced it right now. So hopefully we'll have no issues. We will find out, and uh, we're gonna do this War of the Spark draft like adults. Ooh, it's a crazy boy. Why do they keep defaulting to this? Please remember my choice. I like drafting like this because this is too small. And I can't adjust this bar, so let me draft like this and I'll take this Ilharg, the crazy boy. <clears throat> uh was he framed by judges? No, that's idiotic. <laughs> <laughs> to think judges have anything but your best interest in mind when you're in a magic event is just conspiracy theorist nonsense. That's utterly insane. Judges have literally zero to gain by, by framing someone. Plus, I have many friends who are judges, and to think there's like some sort of conspiratorial like arrangement where multiple judges from the head judge through table judges are all involved uh, is just kind of silly. <laughs> <clears throat> that's just just comical um all right <clears throat> so what are we taking here we got an ilharg oath of kaya that actually seems pretty good yeah we're gonna take the oath of kaya here wow jace wheeler of mysteries oh boy oh boy i have no idea where we're staying Saying? Just staying? I don't know what we're playing. You've Let's... already lost. I mean we're taking all the good cards first, then we'll just figure out what happens after that, right? Yeah. Yeah boy. So we got an Esper and we got a we got a blue red and we got a Jeskai. Or a Mardu. And then we got a four color. Hmm. Hmm. I don't hate a Davriel. I think I value this card less than other people do because it's just a 2-3 flyer most of the time. But maybe that's good enough. Love your wardrobe. I'll have to order 20. <clears throat> I like New Horizons here just because we do have so many uh, different color cards. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the New Horizons. We're just going to be 5 color green here. M -m -m Mana Geode. I do like Vizier of the Scorpion as well. Also, brand new article up on Cool Stuff, uh, showcasing Josh VS's Elder Spell deck. So definitely check that out. You can go to CoolStuff.com, CoolStuffInc.com. I always forget the ink, and uh, you can get five percent off with promo code Frank Five if you're making any sweet, sweet purchases. Uh, another New Horizon, sure. Uh, I like Dam Breaker's fine. It's a five-six for six, and unlike most traditional big-ass creatures like this. Uh, it actually can attack. Sometimes they just can't attack. If this lets you search your library for a creature or a Planeswalker card, that'd be pretty sweet. But, I don't know. The Interplanar Beacon came back? Oh, that's exciting. That's exciting. Mm, okay. <clears throat> Thoughts on the Neoform Turn 1 Kill Nonsense going around in Modern? Um, my thought is that it's probably... I haven't seen any specific deck list, but my thought is that it's probably too ridiculously complicated to get off with any consistency. So, I mean, like, there's always... Every time a new set comes out, people are like, I found a turn 2 kill. I found a turn 1 kill. I found a turn 2, 3 kill. And you're like, but how consistent is it? And they're like, it's not. Like, if you have to get, like, six specific cards in your hand on turn one to win, like, yeah. you're mostly just being cute. Uh, let's play Jaya's Greeting. There's also a third New Horizons. I think we're good with two. <sighs> I like this Obnixilis, but only sometimes. 
I mean, I never want to make them draw two cards. That's really what it comes down to. I don't need any cards in hand to be cute. <laughs> yeah, well, some people are just some people are just born with the luck, I guess. I guess they're just lucky. This deck is interesting. I have no idea what's happening right now. I do mean Sultai Splash Boros. That's correct. <clears throat> Could just play Herald of the Dread Horde. As far as four drops go, that guy's pretty all right. I could just not play red. But that seems less fun, right? I kind of want something to do on turn two because I don't really want to start dying. Hmm. I mean, we're definitely heavy blue. I think we could just take Callus Dismissal. Oh, Gateway Plaza is exactly what we want. Single combat seems interesting. I don't know if we're in for double white here. I also don't think we're going to be wanting to sacrifice most of our things. Let's just take the Gateway Plaza because it's pretty vital for what we're trying to do here. And... Eh, no Escape actually seems pretty okay. I still like Crawl Stinger. It's basically just a removal spell for the most part. That rare is a two drop. You're not wrong. <laughs> I guess that's true. Let's just take Crawl Stinger, I guess. Uh, now we now we can take the no escape, I guess. <clears throat> so it looks like we're splashing white and black with a heavy teamer slant. I'm gonna take the two drop because I want to have two drops to put counters on with our new horizons. Another gateway plaza, huh? Yeah, I'm just going to take all the gateway pluses we can find, realistically. Um, Neoform is meh. They might just be the five drop. Being able to put Cure as Dawnbreaker, Dambreaker into play with Ilharg is pretty sweet, because then you can just keep proliferating. <clears throat> Same thing with Turret Ogre. Just they take two, and then you get to attack for four. I think we just want Saratok here. Oh, wow, another Interplanar Beacon? Hmm. That's pretty good. Well, our mana's looking good. Um... I think we're just taking New Horizons here, I guess. I think three might be too many, but, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, that's a late heart fire. I'll take that. Oh, look, I said heart fired. <clears throat> Who is your favorite planeswalker from this set? Um, Nicol Bolas. It's definitely Nicol Bolas. If you want to ask my favorite card from the set, it might be Niv Mizzet Reborn. Also, congrats, TV Symphony. Thank you. Congrats on the. Oh, I said thank you, but uh, <laughs> congrats on the uh, the graduating college, buddy. Well done. Scofasco, what's going on? Oh, another finale of Eternity. I thought this was a little on at first and I got real excited, but I think it's completely fine to take this as well. I don't even think it's remotely close, and I think it Enter the God Eternals is also pretty insane to take here. So we're going to do that. Uh, I like the Wander. I think it's actually a fine card, especially when we have Oath of Kaya. Oath of Kaya. There are two kinds of mages. Um, Those who lose. I actually like Leyline Prowler here. It fixes our mana. So this is with four extra cards, right? I think that's how that works. Hmm. 
I actually like all these cards so far. What's your favorite vehicle from the set? Okay, I see how you're going to be. I see how you're going to be. Uh, Guardian Lynx actually beat me in the third round of a two-headed giant pre-release uh, by activating the Parhelion 2 against me and uh, attacking for 9,000. So we had a good time. My lips are still chapped, and it's still very painful. Not painful, but it's just annoying. Exchange control of two permanents that share a permanent type. Doesn't seem great. Probably just want to return to nature for the sideboard. I don't know if this is a format where you really need to return to nature. I don't think there's that many things to deal with, but... If they have a Parhelion 2, for example, I would not mind returning it to nature. Uh, another Casminas Transmutation. This is a lot of Casminas Transmutations. <clears throat> oh, Narset. Okay. Well. We have like three Planeswalkers, right? We have Jace, the Wanderer, and Davriel. That's probably fine. Still probably just going to take this because I don't think anything else is even... Mm, I mean, I could see Cross Stinger being decent. We already have a lot of three drops, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three drops. Still probably better than Narset. Mm, another Curious Dam Breaker. I think that rare is really good. Which rare? Oh, God, Pharaoh statue. This seems hard to deal with. Maybe we can play that. We'll see. Ah, uh, Spoke Reward is actually pretty good. Why did that have a sound? <laughs> it's so strange. Um... Okay, let's see what we're doing here. 43 cards. Actually, that's not as bad as I was expecting. I think we want to take out the... How many creatures is this? Probably like nine? Wow. I nailed it. <laughs> take out the hard fire. I just don't see us sacrificing a planeswalker or a, a creature that consistently... We only have one two drop, which is what I was hoping for because I wanted to... Actually, no, nope, that's three drop. I was hoping for the new horizons. I wonder if Mana Geode... I think we can do one New Horizons here. We have Mana Geode and Leyline Prowler as well. Our mana's, like, gonna be all over the place, though. We can take out one Keyboard's Dam Breaker, but that only puts us to, like, five creatures. Or, not not five, eight creatures, rather. But we also do have Crush Descent, which makes a guy. Callous Dismissal makes a guy. I got bits. Here are some of them. Lance, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Triple blue is kind of yikes, but we both have... We have uh, New Horizons, and we have Interplanar Beacon, so... It does help with the blue, at the very least. And two Gateway Plazas, so... Um, also, Enter the God Eternals is basically a creature. Nine creatures? I don't think we can cut a creature here. Alright, so white we definitely have the least of. Wait, can we not sort by color? That's sad. Blue we definitely have the most of. Black we have a lot of. Actually, this mana looks pretty okay. It's not terrible. Could be worse. Yeah, I'm just gonna I wanna roll it like this and I have no idea how we're gonna do. This deck is uh potentially a train wreck. 
but I'm gonna believe. Um, you know what? I'll keep it. One green, we get to play New Horizon. <clears throat> we need double blue, double red, and a green. But other than that, we got Othakaya, so what, what problem is? New Horizons also lets us play both of these, so that's pretty cool. Well, we're halfway there. And that has hexproof. That is unfortunate. How many stips is one allowed to organize? For example, if I made multiple donate, um, <laughs> I I didn't really put a limit on them. Probably like fewer than thirty, I guess. You know, for my own sanity. Man, they're really thinking about it here. They're gonna use all of their timeouts. Turn two six six flyer with lifelink is good? I had a feeling it might be. Oh wow, this guy is uh I'm actually more concerned with their paradise druid. And there's both two power creatures. If we hit a red, it's nice. If we hit a blue, it's nice. If we hit a green, it's nice. So. Oh, <laughs> Jake, that's hilarious, actually. That was the perfect, that was the perfect opportunity for a, a sweet rub in there. Hey, buddy, what's your favorite vehicle? Uh, it's the one you murdered me with. Okay, well, it's slow, but it'll do. It does let us play Ilharg next turn. And if we hit a blue, we can play Enter the Eternals. We can actually play New Horizon. One, two, three, and then play... Keep up Crush Descent if we hit another land. Oh man, Silent Submersible. That's a thing. That's a, that's a card. Guys, what if we made Smuggler's Copter? Absolutely terrible. Duh, well, I guess that's an option. One thing we can do is play New Horizons on a land and then bounce something. We could also just play Ilharg. They have three cards. Okay, take it easy. I really just wanted to play this guy. <laughs> Ideally, if we draw a blue, we can play New Horizons on like one of the swamps. Tap the swamp, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. We can tap the swamp, 
play Jace. And then we can play, we can put into play for free the, the thing. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Valtrix, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. There's a lot of pressure to put something clever or inspiring here. That's true. There is. It's all on you, buddy. It is all on you. Thank you. Oh my god. Villy, Villy, Villy. What's going on, buddy? Lucky, lucky, lucky. 13? Yeah. Yeah, about that. I mean, if they attack here, do we just trade? I don't think so. We have Enter the God Eternals. We would take six before we were able to cast it. We take three now. Okay, now we're probably just going to trade. Which I'm pretty okay with. Or I might take five and eat this if they allow the if they if they come in with both. Or they could play no, they don't have enough mana for Yeah, this seems fine. We're just gonna get this guy back in two turns anyway, but I don't wanna take five and then next turn take another five. Okay, well. That's something right there. Yep, we'll definitely do that. <clears throat> well, that's fascinating. Let's do this correctly. We'll add a green. Add a white. Add a red. Put it on. This guy. Hmm. Wait, what the hell? It's a sorcery. Well, that's the last time we're gonna make that mistake. Unfortunately, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, that was terrible. Yikes. So we took five extra damage there. That's brutal. Well, we got rid of an Arlen there. And we did gain four back. Back in Zen Standard, I sat staring at my opponent waiting for my turn with Lava Ball Trap in hand ready to cast two times while they used Fetch Lands for their Vampire deck. Wait, what does that mean? What is Lava Ball Trap? I forgot what Love Ball Trap does. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana. It's pretty good. Philly with the gifted sub. Uh, target player percent off to Yeah, let's target you. Wait, no, target you. I. What are you doing? Oh, targeting player, right? <laughs> Not their library. Uh, no attacks. <sighs> well, our deck is sweet so far. We played four rares, right? We've played Ilharg, Enter the God Eternals, Oath of Kaya, and Jace. So that's a cool, that's a cool configuration. Uh, if an opponent had two or more lands into the battlefield under his or her turn. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um. Yeah, no blocks. I can go to seven here. I'm okay with it. It's a matter of getting 
Okay, so we're gonna play this. And no attacks. Again. I don't know if this card's any good. Losing one life is not super exciting. And I stay up at night thinking about the misplays. Yikes. Yikes. Billy, thank you so much for the gift of sub. I don't know if I said that. I think I did, but I just want to say it again. I think we can go to five. I kind of just want to block here. I mean, it sucks trading a 5-5 five five for a 2-2, two two, but they're at 21, we're at 7, so I'd kind of like to be able to. Also, this does make our Ilharg better, because they kind of have to... Alright, that's nice, too. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can play either No Escape or Crush Descent. Yeah, we're probably going to replace this for the other Kiora's Dam Breaker, or just another cheaper creature if we have it. This oh, we get to see most of their deck. Stinger, another... Is that the second Paradise Druid? Wow, that's nice. Uh, three Crawl Stingers? Or two? Two? Looks like an Arlen. Um, I mean, we can draw seven next turn. <laughs> it's pretty good. I think we just pass here. We actually have no incentive to attack. Like, we attack for six, and they... I mean, if we draw, like, a Kiora's Dam Breaker, we could do that, but I don't think even that does anything, really. Because then both of our creatures are tapped. We have no defense, really, so... Um, well, you have the mana to pay for it. But this does let us get a creature out of it to block this guy so we don't die. And if we want, we do get to draw seven, so I don't think we're dead here, but... Do we draw seven or do we just draw one? Turret Ogre can block here, which is nice. I think we have to draw seven here. I have no idea I do that okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve mana. This gains us a life, which is nice. Uh, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or we can go five, six, seven. Yeah, let's play you. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana left, so we can go four. And crawl stinger. Okay. 
Watch, they're gonna be like, tap your team, give my guys life. Yeah. That's not super exciting. Alright. I mean, this is a good amount of damage. Plus, we have three blockers, we have a no escape to counter things. I think we're okay here. And one, two, three, we have four mana left over. Yeah, we're definitely taking out the God for a statue. Uh, definitely you in the front. Yep, I will take action and put this dude back in the library. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Play a land. Play uh, this guy. Um, that doesn't, none of these do anything. We can just no attack here. We can make this a 3-3. But both of these, uh, this and this are going to deal them uh, some, some damage. Uh, no. Bottom. Alright, got him. That's all right with me. All right. What do we see? A bunch of dirtily dudes. Dirtily dudes. Dirtily dudes. Break me off. I think we just want the other crawl stinger, and we can take out the god pharaoh's statue. Well, thankfully the results will be on YouTube. So. Why do I have this song stuck, man? I don't know. Valtrog, <laughs> I decided since you're the streamer I consume the most content from you, you're the one who deserves the rest of these bits I got. <laughs> Lance, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> you're like, you know what? You can just have the rest. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much, dude. You're a good you're a good dude. I don't care what I don't care what those other guys said about you in Utah.
Man, our opponent seems to be taking quite a while. Okay, we're, we're doing it. Uh, yeah, let's keep... I was flossing my teeth and decided I should give Frank a buck. Wow, that's great. I'm really a fan of that. If you guys, you guys should all give me a dollar when you floss. I think that's a good, it's also a good way to remind yourself to floss, I think. Yeah, it's probably not. But you know what? That's not the important part. The dollar is the important part, really. So let's remember the dollar. Also, 100% of every dollar you give. Actually, it's not 100%, is it? It's like... 85% or something. 85% of every dollar you give... Goes to me. I think that's important. I'm sitting in my chair and decided to give Frank some bits. bits. Those are... Those are some good bits. Those are some good chair sitting bits. I think whenever you guys sit in your chair, you should you should send over a dollar. I think that's a good idea. It's a good practice to get into the habit of. What could go wrong? Wow. Wow. 100 little bits. Little bits. One, two, three, four, five, and the zinks. We're going to take a bunch of damage from this Crawl Stinger. We're going to block this guy. Maybe we just block here. Crawl Stinger is a really obnoxious creature. I'm also sitting in a chair. Here's a buck. Man, you guys are great. This is amazing. Little bits. Oh, and a dollar floss tax. Josh, if you're not flossing right now, though, I feel, uh... I feel like that's disingenuous. I'll still take it. I'll still take it. But I just want you to know that you should probably be flossing. If you're not. If you're not already. Another interplanar beacon? Another interplanar bacon? Well, I feel like we're dying this game. They could tap down both our guys and attack for another... 6,000. If we can draw Enter the God Pharaoh, boys. That's pretty cool. I have an Amazon delivery coming tomorrow? I don't know what it is. I assume it's like dog food? Or cat food? Could be cat food. Huh. I don't know, man. Alright. It doesn't look like it, though. I have no idea. Okay, that dude's floating. I guess we're just going here. Well, there's a lot of lands to draw. One, two, three. We've drawn three actual cards, one of which is not great against their tiny board. Let's go to game thrice. I know what your delivery is. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, I see. It's a Kerwit delivery, guys. 
It's a spontaneous Kerwit delivery. Yeah, I just got an email. Hi, you have a package coming tomorrow. Between 1.45 and 5.45. Oh, weird. I don't remember any Amazon packages recently. Well, there you go. There you go. I was bored. I like when Kerwood's bored. <laughs> I get packages. <laughs> I'm actually going to bring one of these grazers in. You put a land into play. That seems fine. Man, fantastic. The thing about Kerwitz packages, I literally have no idea what's going to be in them. And that's pretty okay. Wow. We can do better than that. Uh, I don't think this is better, but I'm going to keep it because we have New Horizons and an Island and a Callus thing. Oh boy, this is our this is the end, isn't it? Oh, we're doing it. Any green. A green here is good. Green is good. As Gordon Gecko would say, because he's a gecko. So he says green is good. Oh. <laughs> amazing. Just amazing. This is what living the dream feels like, guys. Because we can go Jace. We could Jace up in this piece. We could play a Turret Ogre. We could just keep up Crush Descent. Oh, you're just attacking. Fascinating. Ooh, double Paradise Druid, huh? Well. Yeah, don't use that. I want to keep up the red. Alright, that is an instant. Just making sure. Man, bouncing a Paradise Druid is basically like land tax. Thank you. Dr. Gamer, PhD, thank you so much for the, for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Congrats on your PhD. Yeah, this is fine. Ain't nobody care about that. Uh, passed into combat. Mm, you can go away. I want lands here. Oh, we can we can cast that. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna slam a Jace here, try to hit a land. Let's try this. And we did it, guys. We did it. No attacks. Okay, I can hear again. Good. I only have my gaming master. I don't even think you have that. I bet you dropped out of the gaming academy. You liar. Oh man, I have no idea what this package is. <laughs> oh Lord, Kerwit, you need a. You need something, my dude. I accept you just the way you are. Yeah, Jace can go to three. That's not a big deal. Unless they have giant growth and they kill him. And then it's a bigger deal. To Exodus, thank you so much for the bits, buddy. Insert something funny here. Hey, buddy, that's your job. 
Oh, this one is classy. It's gonna be like a bow tie and a fake mustache. It's gonna be a monocle for sure. Shut up and take my money. For real, I'm flossing now. My office had those little toothpick things in our supply closet, and I'm using one. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that's actually hilarious. Way to go. Way to go. Dental hygiene is important. I kind of want to keep crushed to scent up. Yeah, I think we can keep crush to send up here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because we can block here. And they only have five mana, so... They can't play anything that costs five, six, or even four if they don't have a land. I just got back from the dentist today and I need three root canals. What? That is a lot. That is no bueno, dude. If I'm just chilling here with uh, six, six mana up, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, Jace can go to two here. Uh, this one, I will remember. Oh god, over two k. Gross. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we just had a big fat crocodile and a light shield. That's okay. Uh, we're just going to play this guy and keep up Crush Descent still. Yeah, I agree. I'm not really a big fan. Like, I can barely see their deck. I'm like, where? where is your deck? Where is it? It's over here, but I mean, I can barely see that. We're just going to block like this. Put a blonde snuggler in your first strike. You gain two whole life. Um. <laughs> Who's my favorite magic artist? Um. I think that's. I think that's pretty obvious, is it not? I want to counter this because then this guy dies. Then we get to keep a 3-3 on board. They don't get to play anything else. They're going to be able to pay for it. But we get a 3-3. So at least one of these dies. 1,800 hours on Dark Souls. Holy moly. That's 75 days. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can play this. If you surrender now, a mind is a terrific thing to waste. So 
So they can still kill one of these, but then we get to just eat whatever. I doubt they're going to attack a Paradise Druid if they need the white that badly. I mean, we're 100% blocking, so. Oh, we are no longer in combat. No attacks were made. That's nice. You got it. Same. That's a good card. I don't think you'll be needing that. They're also playing God Pharaoh statue? That's interesting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just attacking here. Sure. Uh, I think one of my favorite pieces of magic art is actually a That is definitely a good planeswalker. Please protect my pack. Oh, that's pretty good too. I mean, they also have eight cards. They have one or fewer cards, they take two. That's pretty good. Okay, so now Arlen does nothing here. Good to know. Good to know. Loneliness can hurt. All right, so you just killed one of the guys that was already tapped. Oh, um, deal, <laughs> deal. So they have five cards left. the thought <laughs> so all right well I guess we're gonna pass here I feel like this game is going well for us Yeah, I could, I could also see being salty playing against this deck. Our deck is extremely frustrating to play against, I imagine. But we got 17 cards, so we just draw 7. I don't think we have a real reason to. Hmm. 
Yeah, they're, they have two cards left in their library, so... Oh, God. <laughs> like you do. Yeah, no attacks here. Oh, got him. Our deck is pretty cool. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's good. It's cool though. Let's take you out. What do we put in its place? Uh, other crawl stinger was good. Why don't you just play forty cards like a normal? You deck. You deck is just like you. That's not even English, Mike. But I appreciate it. But I appreciate it. Uh, no, I don't like the 2 6 drop hand. Yeah, that's better. Also, if you guys haven't done so, head on over to coolstuffinc.com and check out my latest article. It is called Elder Spelling Doom with Nicobolus Dragon God, and it is about uh, Josh's. Uh, deck list that he submitted a while back last week and uh, definitely leave a comment on the article if you enjoy it or if you if you read it so um, that it is well received James, you tried. You tried, and I appreciate that. That's all that really matters, buddy. You did it. You did good. I hope that... Uh I hope this gets a counter out so I can I can wander it. <laughs> yeah, that seems good. All right. Oh, we have Spellkeeper Weird to get back the... Oh, God. Actually, I don't want to do it this turn because then they can just kill the, the guy again, so. We're just going to play Richie Boy. And no attacks. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's cool. Totally forgot about the Wanderer again. I'm terrible at this game. Someone literally made that mistake yesterday. Gain no life, mill them for four. Yep, that was pretty stupid. Wow, that was terrible.
can't believe I just did that. It was so bad. Brett, what's going on, buddy? Has anyone actually seen the fabled U.S. availability of Japanese booster boxes for war? Because most of what I've heard... Uh, do you mean U.S. availability... Uh, so, like, Japanese boxes in the U.S.? Because I would not be surprised if, uh, if they were extremely hard to come by. That's all right with me. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't really think we have any good attacks here. If we bounce this, they can still, like, block with these guys. Yeah, flipping someone someone else's nickel bolus is, uh, is pretty bad. I can't imagine anyone who would make that kind of a bonehead move, though. That's pretty terrible. Posting this so Twitch will stop haranguing me about... Brett, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I actually totally missed that. Um, yeah, I'll actually keep that. That seems fine. It's not exciting, but it's fine. Yeah, that would make sense. Like, where they're like, oh, you had to order these before the announcement. Because you usually would anyway. But then, like, once the announcement was, you're like, oh, no, I want a ton more. And then it was too late. Yeah, sure, Divine. Whatever. You got it, dude. Again, this would be nice as a an instant, but... I mean, I guess an instant speed with an amass is pretty good. Initiate. You are not worthy. That's rude. You're being rude. <laughs> Meh. Uh-oh, Hunter's dreaming. Oh, he's having a good time. I guess we can play this wander out. For five, huh? Is this the only one that's attacking? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's unfortunate. The only companion I need is that time to meet your breaker. Um You were the best of your crop. Yeah, did pretty good. The earth trembles in anticipation of my vengeance. You know, five here. Ooh. You brought this upon yourself. Aggressive. 
Stop! <laughs> they did it too! Oh, the Wanderer preventing the five Nahiri damage. That's insane. And they did not learn from our mistake. That's fantastic. Wow. Who are we attacking? Let's go, uh, let's hit Samet, let's hit this guy. Sure. We'll see if I don't know. I don't I don't know what really matters. The first strike's kind of annoying. Teo having three is kind of annoying. I like that. Okay. Sure. I have witnessed enough destruction already. Seems good. I feel like we're ahead here. Put me out front. God, these matches are very grindy. Thank you. Neither of these go up though, which is nice. Hey, Saru, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. 20 months in a row. Really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. I'm just going to no attacks here. Like, we're already at an hour and seven minutes, and this is round two, game one. Oh, God. Yeah, 25 to 30, but then we also have three Planeswalkers on the board. Yikes. Oh, that's good, because we have the Wanderer. So, that's, that's cool. Okay. Anything to support my allies. One down. All right, so you have, like, nothing on the board now, which is nice. Eh, I've killed bigger. I mean, this is fine. Oh, no no blocks for you at all. Day. I feel like we're doing okay. That's all right with me. All right. Well, I'm going to assume you don't have Settle the Wreckage. <coughs> Excuse me. Left a comment on your post. Well, I guess this gets to eat something, so that's sad. But we get to kill the land, I guess. So, silver linings. <laughs> hey, wow, that's actually a decent comment. When you said that, I thought it was going to be a, tr a troll, but it's actually pretty good. My bye -bye now. Um. Yeah, all right. Seems good. I'm gonna make you suffer. I don't 
let anything slip through the cracks. Wait. Other than myself, of course. All right. Well. So I guess you're going to exile one more thing, which is probably going to be the Prowler? Nope, the 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Sure. What was the, what's three white for three removal spells? Oh, are you referring to the, the Wanderer? Yeah, that was pretty good. That worked out pretty well. I don't care about this anymore. No attacks. End of the turn. I'll take it and go to 30, 29. Just sat back down here, so here are my tax bits. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I appreciate your, uh, your taxi boys. Um, That's a good draw. That was a solid draw, guys. That was a okay. Oh boy, that was a thing, all right. So they got a bunch of little idiots. Little idiots. One hundred seems good, bits. Nice. It does seem good. Maybe we want Sarkhan's Catharsis over Crush Descent. <laughs> you don't have America Prime? <laughs> Ever since Mar Amazon bought the U.S. government, it's the only way to get civic representation. Yeah, but what a what a way to uh, what a way to get it. You know what I mean? How many rares are in this deck? Let's actually find out. One, two, three, four. It looks like four. Oh no, five because of final eternity. Five rares. They're all very good. They're all very good rares, though. They're good rares, Brent. I actually kind of like this Eboreal Grazer. And I'm liking this less. Hmm.
Because a lot of these, we're, we're playing Ochos, which are just small dudes with counters on them. Um, like, a thing I like about this guy is that he just does a bunch of blocking while we got what gets set up. Let's see how two Arboreal Grazers do. do. I have no idea. Do do. He said do do. Uh, yeah, this is a keeper. See, so, you now if we had a Grazer here, we can go Grazer for one, play a land, play Davriel, and have a great blocker. Now we're just going to lock Snare Spinner. No blocks. I think we're just passing here. We're not going to play Davrail because then we have to block here. It dies and then we just lose it. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. No attacks. End turn. We can play it next turn or we can Jaya's greeting this turn and... have no plays. Okay. Because next turn we can also dam breaker on this guy, which is super nice. Let's tidy up in there. Forty-two thousand mythic editions sold. Wait, what's going on with that? Tell me all about it. That sounds crazy to me. <clears throat> I will pass. Uh, weird actually doesn't do a lot for us here. Does more than that, unfortunately. Let me pick your brain for a minute. On eBay? The soul ticker's up to 42,000? Like, that can't be a glitch, right? Oh wow, I was actually hoping they would do that. That's insane because now the Davriel gets to survive? What? Empty your mind. Davriel's made them discard three cards so far. Hmm. The three cards were Finale, Samet, and Courage? What? Keeping that real life's too ambitious. Maybe we just keep attacking and then Oh, they're just gonna Gideon's our guy, right? That's fine. G. 
Jesus. Ooh, boy. That's still a card, isn't it? A mind is a terrific thing oh, and here he nice. So we can actually just block the 9-9, nine -nine, I guess. Does that have trample? No way, right? Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Well played. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana. So we are one shy of finaleing all three of these guys. That's actually pretty good. Alright, well, let's hope you don't draw something amazing like that Divine Favor. Or Divine Arrow, whatever that card is. That's not it. Alright, we're back in the driver's seat. Man, Leyline Prowler holding down the fort. Hold on one second. That was actually a fantastic draw. Um, so we're going to actually use a green to add blue, black, and then use blue, black again. Resolve them, resolve them. Manipulation of the mind. Okay, like, come on. I'm, I'm making my plays here. Why didn't they use that one black that was floating? I don't know. Alright, we're good. this guy, but that is not how that works. We're back at five. It's a lot of lands. Okay, that's nice. Oh, uh, they have one, two, yeah, this is fine. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay, four, five on two, four. This guy's trample. All right, we're just gonna block like this. 
One three can block. So I guess we take four here. We get rid of the centaur nurturer. Whatever, we'll go to three. I don't think we're that. How did they kill our other guy? Oh, it just died from the uh Uh, yeah, you can stay. <clears throat> you can stay. It's a matter of gift. I mean, we have a lot of good cards left, so I'm not super... Super concerned. <clears throat> Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so they're also going to four cards. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Not really. You got a four five. We'll put it on here so we have multiple guys that can... And we're done. <clears throat> Hour and 27 minutes and we're in the second round. This is going to be a long draft video, guys. Two O, two O with the sweetness. I'm back in the fucking room again. Oh, this hand is pretty decent. Seems fine. They're giving us a lot of a lot of leeway here to do things. Gateway Plaza. I don't care about that right now. We got pretty much all the colors we could need off of Geode and one Gateway Plaza.
I'll trade a Thunder Drake for a, a Crawl Stinger if you want. unfortunate all these lands we keep drawing are pretty is pretty unfortunate I think we're a little hasty with the Callus. Does uh, uh, Mizzle? <laughs> Excuse me. The ocean surges. <laughs> life. Excuse me. Yep, that's pretty good. Wow, oh, this deck is insane. The problem with Kazmina's Transmutation is that it doesn't take into account counters. So like if we put it on this guy, it's still a four four. I will not give up. Now it's a 6-7. Yeah, this deck is very good. Oh, no blocks. Nature flows with vigor. T -t -t today junior man yeah, not feeling good about this game but uh you know Man, this 4-4 is, uh... 
doing some work. That'll do. That will do. Uh, I keep being less impressed with this Kazmina's transmutation. I wish we had one of the things that kill the flyers. That would be great. I'm gonna bring in Sarkon's Catharsis here though, just because it kills planeswalkers. Are you going to the mall later? Maybe. <clears throat> How did you know that? What a weird question. Is that is that from what's that from? Are you going? What is that? Is that from a thing? It feels like it's from a thing. It was from Billy Madison. Yeah, that's right. That's what it's from. I actually might as well because I might have to get some. I was looking to get some shoes. Um, I'll keep this. Any green source lets us play Leyland Prowler, which lets us play everything else. Unfortunately, I do not think Jay and Silent Bob will be at the mall. But... You never know. My Seems good. You never know. That's why you keep going to the mall. Is that why? Huh. Okay, well these lands are, wow, are, they're just like, no, next turn. Yikes. things happening here. Well, when I'm beat, I'm beat. I'm pretty sure we've lost here. I'm pretty sure I could just concede, and actually, we have. Finale of whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can do it for five. Kill three other guys. I know how to 
stop you. Innovation knows no bounds. I will return. Phil, thank you so much. Buying shoes at the mall bits. <laughs> I have not bought shoes at the mall in ages. But I also haven't owned Nikes in ages, but I'm gonna like buy some some Nikes. Some sneaks. <laughs> Who says that? No one says that. No blocks. Okay, well, that doesn't really kill anything here. Hmm. I have one green or white, so I can play one thing in my hand. Why does this have trample? I don't know. I'm just gonna scoop here. We're basically good on board. So we're 2 1. Alright. Our deck seems great if we can draw fewer mana sources, but enough mana sources. Uh, oh, snapperooskies. <laughs> Does the Auntie Anne's have pepperoni pretzels? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, like there's like a cinnamon sugar pretzel from Auntie Anne's is really not that much different than a Cinnabon if you're looking for something sweet. Both of them have like a, uh, a serious concentration of of sweetness. Yo, Mike B, what's going on, my dude? Are you just laying in your room like a like a dirtle? Orange Julius. I am a fan of Orange Julius, and I think I'm alone. I do not think that is common. Did they just Oh, they just played that and didn't didn't do anything else? Okay. Um, do I want this Arboreal Druid out here? Arboreal Grazer? I don't think so, right? Mike B just basically lives in pain all the time now. He's more machine now than man. Twisted and evil. Okay, well we're one away from this guy. Can you not kill this dude? Thank you. These guys don't really do much though. Give me a Jace, that'd be great. Actually, we can't even play a Jace. <laughs> oh yeah, we can. We got this guy. Just an illusion. Always 
I'll say no attacks. Can we get chat to donate to my mic some pain-free robot legs? It's possible. Alright, so now you got two floaty boys. attacks. I think we're in good shape here. Oh, they just conceded. Okay. That seems good. Ricey like, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. That's a solid song that I just wrote. You're welcome. Look at this hand. Black, black, blue, 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 green, Ilharg. Uh, definitely keep this. Um, yeah, I'll keep this guy. Because we're going to go first turn, second turn. So if we draw like a couple lands before that point. Also, our hand is insane. Enter the God Eternal's finale, Jaya's greeting. And we don't hit a greensies. All right, well, that is unfortunate. Well, they don't have anything to really uh, proliferate onto, so. That's good, because you definitely didn't want to draw Ilharga there. Or that, really. Okay, so... At least we know we lost this game because lands don't exist in our deck. <laughs> sure. Oh my god, come on, dude. Realistically, we should have just played this guy last turn. Well, we couldn't have. We only had one. Yeah, we couldn't have done that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous! I'm just gonna play this guy now. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, theoretically, theoretically, a black source lets us kill, like, three things. So. <laughs> I guess not even theoretically, actually. Can't play that. <laughs> this is just. This is just frustrating.
Also, I mean, if at any point, if we had, if we could play New Horizon and Arboreal Grazer on the same turn, like, having a 1-4 is a pretty decent blocker on this board. Look, a land. One, two, three, four, five lands. Good for us. So hopefully they play something with three toughness, maybe like a 10-3, like a Yurgle. Yep, that'll do. You can kill all three, attack the Ashiok, and now that's no longer an option, unfortunately. Hajigulashi with the gifted sub, buddy. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. I aspired for more. Are we going to two here? Or a six, rather? I think we just came back from this game, and I have no idea how. Because we gain a life here. We get to play Leyline Predator as well. Unless they counter to Avriel, which is just fine because you're literally. I mean, basically, Avriel got rid of one one card instead of two or three cards, so. Do you even activate here? Because then you just loot. You. you have 13 cards, we have 16 cards, and you got a couple of Ashiok activations. Oh, because of the stupid Kazmina. That's dumb. Now he's ogre costed. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. Dead Sight, thanks so much for the resub. Good luck in all your games today, and may RN Jesus bless you. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Just this guy, huh? Yeah, I don't want to go to six when you have a grateful apparition out, and, uh... Yeah, it feels like we're in good shape here. Wow, this is a game that we almost were like, we had no lands for like 15 turns. Uh, no blocks. Because they're going to proliferate onto this. We're going to wander it away.
thank goodness we got rid of that junk. No attacks. All right. Well, that seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can play things that cost six, but no more. And we are on an eight turn clock. Too bad this is life loss and not damage. Okay. We don't have any loot effects, so there's no reason to sandbag lands here. counter because you drew a counter spell on your two cards. Fantastic. I mean, if we draw a Jace, it'd be fantastic because then we don't have to worry about this guy. What is that? Sorcery speed? So we just draw like five lands in a row, so that's pretty cool. I guess we did hit a... Uh, The whale, dude. Come on, Jace, one time. We did it. Wait, why would you use a blue for that? Come on, dude. They just concede to a Jace? What? How many cards do they have left in their library? That seemed weird. Did we just have the win and I didn't notice it? I just hit cancel. They give you like no time to hit cancel whatsoever. Wow, that's hilarious. We're playing against magic name opponent. Wow. That was the weirdest game I've ever played. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. The ill hard makes it awkward, but... Eh, less awkward. Are dual lands still good investments? I can't imagine why they wouldn't be. Is this a stip deck? No, this is just a draft we did, my dude. What on earth, man? 
Paracum, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Still need another black, another red, or a white. So black, red, or white are what we need for these three rares in the middle here, but... Our opponent's not really doing anything, so... Miso Miso, I actually am looking forward to Modern Horizons. I cannot wait to see what's in that set, actually. So, yes, that looks pretty sweet. Finally. Gateway Plaza? Uh, it's a turn behind, but we'll still keep it. We can play Turret Ogre and Gateway Plaza next turn, and Gateway Plaza turns on literally everything we want to do. Because now we can finale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're five mana away from ultimating this thing, but, you know, we got time. Yep, had a feeling you had that, because they always do. Oh, wow. Oh, we're just going to wipe the board. Oh, wow. That's insane. Yikes. Gateway Plaza turned me on. Uh, we're going to kill this guy because we want to be able to gain life with the Oath of Kaya next turn. Or, you know, any turn. Whenever, really. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is 3. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just playing board here. This is still the first draft. This is unbelievable. I would be halfway through our second draft by now on Magic Online. Hold on. Wait, what did I do? Let's go white, black. I'm just a normal diameter. But don't mm -hmm. think you'll be needing that. All right, so I'm good without submitting anything here. Struggling. Good. Yeah, your your Twitter account should be called MTG Brubert. Yeah. 
Get that out of the Kaya trigger. This is an easy block. Sure. That's fine. Cancel. Davriel killed you, a little rogue shadow mage, you see, yes. What'd you have, a bunch of floaty boys? I don't care about too much. Two, yeah, I saw two of the three fours. Three three four flyers that we saw. Oh, Davriel killed you, you see, yes. I'm just a regular man. Tell him, Steve Davriel, that's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Take Grazer out, bring in the Crush Descent, because I want to be able to counter a big fat flyer, but that's pretty good otherwise. MTG Brubert was taken. Yeah, I doubt it. I have my doubts. Uh, oh, snap, snap-ems, keep a -ruskies. This hand is insane in the membrane. Yes, you see, I'm going to play the whole draft in this Davriel voice, you see, yes. They're going to play a Tybalt and I'm going to take one from... Oh, this thing? This thing again? Alright. I'm going to enter the God Eternals on my next turn, you see. I'm going to attack this Feather the Redeemed. Unless they give it like a counter, in which case it's going to be... Uh, oh, super sad. Oh, look, they did the thing I was afraid they would do. That's sad. Well, you see, that was very tragic that they chose to do that, you see. That's pretty obnoxious. I have no idea what to do with that. I this is actually impossible to deal with at this point. Uh <sighs> This is so bad. Yikes. Hodge Glosh, have a good afternoon, buddy. This is just unbeatable. Like, there's no... Do we have anything to kill a 6-7 in our deck? We could like bounce it with like the bouncy thing, but that's not super exciting.
Guess I'll take seven. I need to go grocery shopping, but I'm lazy. Well, same. I also have to get some groceries tonight. Rob, why aren't you linking the Twitter account instead of just uh, instead of just telling people? Because now, like when you link it, people can just click on the link. When you when you just say the name, people have to actually go to Twitter, type in the name, which is a lot more. It's a lot more work. I mean, it's not a lot of work, but it is a lot more work. Too much effort. Oh, so you're so you're actually putting the effort onto the people you want to support you. That's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> when you want to promote a thing and you want to do something to promote that thing, you t you should take all of the work onto doing that that thing. Oh boy. Go to 10. One, two, three, and then we have one, two, three, four. Nope, not enough for that. I don't think the geode is as relevant as just adding a big fat idiot to the board. Yep, so it's gonna be 10, it's gonna be 11 on our turn. Which doesn't kill us, it puts us to 1. So they have to have another pump spell, which I'm sure they did, but I feel like we're real close. 1,500 need to get some grocery bits. Phil, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, man. Wow, Phil's helping with my shoes and my groceries. God, all my life, all my life needs are being met here. Thanks to, thanks to Phil Rickner. Are we, like, really close to winning this ridiculous game, especially with the Saratok in hand? What the fuck? Why would you slow roll this? What a... What a... F wow, you're stupid. Oh my god, I'm sorry. That's, like, so frustrating. Like, we're working our ass off to win this while you have a broken two-card combo. You've cast two spells the entire game. And then you, like, take your time to literally shoot me in the face. Like, come on, dude. And we had double Kazmina's and we had Callus Dismissal double trans transmutation in our deck. We had ways around uh, the uh... That's infuriating, man. Oh, we also had the Wander. Like, Wander takes care of... Like, we had, like, at least four answers in our deck to deal with that card. But...
sure. No blocks, because they likely have the uh, plus two, plus two, first strike, and gain two life. Which would be pretty sad. I'd cry. It dies, does one damage to any target. Sure. I feel like we're way ahead here. <laughs> if we hit a land, we can play Wander and keep up no escape. be a three bounce that attack you I like this better because then we can just no escape it when it comes back down And we get a scry? Unbelievable. Huh, keep. Snap keep. Boy, this is a hell of a video. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste time. Like, if they don't, I'd rather just deal four, five, seven, nine damage. What is going on in this chat? The Barbobbly Burts? <laughs> Alright, 4-1. Can we close it out with uh, two more wins, I guess? Um, yeah, this seems fine. Double Kazmina's Transmutation and a Jace with two out of three islands. Oh, all right. Now we get to play this guy if we hit a black source. Yeah, our deck actually is pretty decent. You just have to make sure you hit those things like uh, those landy boys. 
Because if you don't, it's a lot harder. Okay, well, that's... A blue is good. A black is good. A red is fine, I guess. Yep, no, I should've. Okay, well. And speak of the devil, we did not hit a fourth land drop. Not bad, not bad. I think we're still in it. I feel like this game is over, guys. Yep, that guy's not going to do it. All right. That is a keeper. All right. lead with Foresto. Oh, see, look at that. Look, he's doing his job. It puts it in play tapped. Oh, that's worse. I thought it was untapped. That guy just got worse. I guess it's fine, but it's still like... Meh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess this guy's fine on turn four.
Pretty sure this game's over. Let's go to game three. And now we can actually get back Finale of Eternity with this guy. That seems good. I'd rather just have this guy on the board, so. It's like, on the bright side, he doesn't have any more creatures to put into play. It's a little crunchy. And we have a wanderer in hand. A game three. Time to let's cut you down to size. Is this the third is the, this is our third our third war of the spark draft total? I know we had it in two. Do we have it in all three? Because it's a pretty insane card, and it might it might it might contribute to some of these wins. Maybe. keep that guy on top. I wish this was a gateway plaza, but you know, what can you do? Uh, finale of Eternity is the finale we have. It's the black finality. Finale, not finality. A hair on my face somewhere, and it's like I can see it a little bit. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like when you have a hair, and like you can just kind of see a little bit in the corner of your eye. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna use my phone as a mirror. You guys ready? Not working. You got the giant growth? I mean I'll I'll eat it. You 
god. That's pretty rough. I guess we take five, we gain three. Yep. So even if we block here, we take seven. Yep, that's gonna be game. Four two, unfortunately. Little too, uh, little too few things going on in the early game. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at manatraders.com. You can find the link and the promo code in the description. And Manatraders is an awesome service that lets you subscribe. And you can also get uh, f deck rentals, physical paper deck rentals, and also Magic Online digital card rentals. And uh, if you use the promo code in the description, you will get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, you can try it out and see if you like it. And uh, I'm sure you will, because it's actually a good deal. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore, and you get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. All of those links are in the description below, so you can definitely check those out. Thank you guys for watching. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time.